Chidi is a Nigerian medical illustrator and a future pediatric neurosurgeon. It was Chidi's passion for medicine and art that sparked his interest in medical illustrations that led him to several global recognitions and features in medical journals and textbooks. His illustrations are the first of their kind as they depict dark skin. Instantly iconic, his illustrations remind us of what we've never seen but should have. So the largest organ of the human body, skin, has traditionally been illustrated in medical course books and publications without melanin. The subjects of medical illustrations have always been white. A medical student and artist, Chidi, what implications does this have on medical students and on their future patients? All right, thank you for asking that. Um... I would say that uh, this has a big role to play in in medical uh, on medical students and um, and healthcare outcome because uh, education is a foundation, and if our education is not very inclusive and uh, and we are working towards providing a good uh, education or a good uh, a good um, uh, healthcare outcome, then our education is not very um, inclusive or diverse enough to to carry everybody along then um, there is something wrong somewhere. So as I said, um, the foundation is drawing these things because now when when students, medical students in training are exposed early enough to um, drawings of black people or, or people of color, they are much aware of how skin condition, for example, represents on black people. And of course, when they are aware of this, their approach to treating patients that are, that are black skin or, of the, of a different, or that, that are melanated would be a good approach. And of course, when when they approach that with, um, with, um, with, with much experience and knowledge, of course, the health outcome would be much better. And, and now, the reason why there has been a lot of um, issues of disparities and black women being devalued is because the physicians or the doctors were not exposed to this early enough in their, in their training course. And that's why they, 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 there is a lack of technical know-how know -how on how to approach conditions like this. And so I, I strongly believe that, um, that if more of this is included over time or now, our health outcome would improve because you agree with me that there's a whole lot of um, healthcare disparities in the U.S. and where Black women uh, do not receive equal um, health value as a white woman or yeah, a white woman would receive, and in turn, um, an increased mortality, maternal mortality rate or infant mortality rate. And so the, 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 that's because the, the, our, the foundation, the education, has not taught it wise to go diverse. And I believe that that's, um, that's the way forward, yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I agree for sure. You know, your illustrations are very telling regarding how far we've not yet come as a society in terms of visual representation and inclusion, as you said. For the road ahead and the work that needs to be done to have all races seen how do you feel with the work that you do, with the work that you're doing and will continue to do? Are you optimistic and enthusiastic about what's to come? Or do you feel that this work is um, is a burden that, that's heavy? Um, well, I would say it's, to me, was a burden because I, I mean, I felt it was something that needed to be addressed as as quickly as possible, and um, I was uh, and I was able to use my art to speak up, you know, for for that. And um, I, I'm very much optimistic also because the change is already here. I mean, the wave of change is already here, because um, I, I, I can't tell you um, a number of publishers that have reached out wanting to include the drawings in medical textbook because that that's the one goal I needed. That's just the one change that I needed because if this uh, included medical textbook, the change is already happening. And um, so I, I'm so optimistic that it's already happening in 2021. And I'm so hopeful that 2022 will be so massive that there will be a, there will be an outstanding change and, and the change that we could see very well. And I mean, that's that I'm so optimistic about it. And I know that's going to happen, surely. Awesome. That is wonderful. Um, 
So I'll be very honest with you. And that is that I cried when I first saw your work. Um, just instant emotion came when I saw your illustration of a black pregnant woman and the black fetus in her womb as a woman of color who has given birth to three children. During my pregnancies, I saw many drawings to help me understand my body and my baby inside. But looking back, never once, never once did I see a sketch where I saw myself. And your work not only serves the medical community, but just humanity in general. Did you have any idea that your work would provide such a wake up call that your illustrations would remind all of us how unseen so many of us are? I'm feeling really so emotional right now. Um, it's, I have been drawing for one year and one year and five months, and I've been doing this consistently. And um, I have been speaking up for what I believe in. To be honest with you, I did not expect that drawing to go viral because when I did that drawing, I spoke up, I said that I am black and black is beautiful. And that more of this should be represented in medical literature. I mean, that has always been my advocacy whenever I've created those drawings. And I, 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 I didn't know that it was going to go viral, but it's, it's something that I, I, I had to sit down and, 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 and read the comments of people. I had calls from all of our from the viewers telling me how people were blessed with that drawing. And I, I myself, I did cry because I, I did not expect that. Because I was able to see that aside those who are in the health sector, who, who understood what the drawing meant, people that are Black also were able to resonate with the drawing because it's about a person now, it's about people now. It's not just about those in the health sector. And um, I, I, I felt felt overwhelmed and it was more reason to be, to be so humble because it's 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 about the people right now. And um, I just felt, I felt, I felt so blessed. I felt so blessed, sincerely. Mm -hmm. Well, um, you know, that feeling of being blessed, I, I think that you've given that to so many, um, including, including myself and, um, for a number of reasons, you know, so for those who are now awoke and awakened by your work, what would you say to others who would like to be part of the needed change in representation in general and, and outside of the medical, medical community? For those of us without talent like yours, um, I don't draw very well. Uh, what can we do to be part of this change that we want to see, part of this change that you're making. Yeah, um, I'll start by saying, you said you don't do very well, but you do, you, you talk very well. Amazing, you have a voice that you can lend to the world. And um, that's how the change will happen. I mean, we all have different skills, different talents, different way of speaking up for what you believe in. I'm an artist, so I speak up with my art. For those who could talk, we speak up with their voices. For those who could sing, we create songs to advocate for what they believe in. And that's how the change will happen. That's how we can build a community of people who are working towards bringing a change. And I'm happy that people are excited about what's happening. But it's not just about excitement, but it's about making the change stay. And of course, the change cannot stay without me alone. But the change will stay when people like you and I and people out there working together, working as a as a community to making the change stay and change happening. So that's that's just what I think. And that's, well, that's a beautiful thought and I very much, very much agree. Um, so I, I have one more question for you and that is, you know, so you are already a very talented artist. Um, after you complete your education and required training, you also hope to be a talented surgeon and not just any surgeon, a pediatric neurosurgeon. I'm just so curious, what is it that drew you to this specific path? All right, um, first of all, I will start by saying that I I love children a lot. I love children. And um, I feel more, I feel more feel when I'm around children. And I feel a lot of pains when I see children suffer. And that's why I find my purpose. And also, um, 
I I lost my mom to cancer. And uh, as a young child, I, I was unable to help her and and so sad she died when I was around. I was the only one around when she died. And the pain was 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 excruciating. So it, it it it's something I don't want any any child to go through. It's something I want to be able to take away the pains of children through surgery by giving them a hope, by giving them a peace, by giving them happiness again because I, I don't want to pass through what I to go to what I went through and I want to be able to provide that health care to children because of their innocence. They're just so innocent to go through a lot of pains in life. I want to be able to give them that, that opportunity to live a peaceful life through surgery. So that's why I just be that to neurosurgery. Oh, well, thank you for sharing that that story. Um, there's no doubt that um, your your talent will manifest itself in so many ways um, throughout your career, both as an artist and as a surgeon, and um, just in general as an inspiring human. So I cannot thank you enough for taking this time and for helping all of us become a bit more aware now. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you. so much.